first we'll create a split screen real quick choose a clip that you want to use and zoom out like this duplicate it by holding alt and drag it up we'll change the position so drag the clip at the top then duplicate it once again and drag it down go at the end move four frames to the left and make a cut again go at the end highlight all of them and extend it one more frame and add frame hold extend frame hold to around 15 frames nest the videos right here in the middle and scale it up nest all the frame holds as well and scale it up even more all right now let's move to the best part of this tutorial i'll be using ultimate texture bundle v3 at the end of the video i'll walk you through to what's inside the bundle if you want to see everything that's included so first thing that i'll use from this pack is essential graphics we have so many effects and transitions to choose from but for this effect i want to go with something like this so i'm going to drag the effect into the timeline You'll see two sections in here and your footage is going to go in the green spot. So all you have to do is drag the footage in these two sections and your effect is basically done here. Of course you can add more to it, but even if you leave it like this, it's still going to look good. Now I want to do the same for the top and bottom clip. I'm going to drag this effect right here, I'll cut it and use two different parts from the same effect. Move one at the top and one at the bottom. Again, add your footage. Some parts can be black and white. Maybe it will be more interesting that way. That's what I did here. Okay, so now we can do the second effect. Copy frame holds from nested sequence and paste it. Then nest them again. The reason why I didn't just duplicate the nest sequence is because if I have done that and made the changes, it would automatically change this nest sequence as well and we don't want that. Alright, so now I'll change the color to black and white. Go at the start, move two frames and make a cut. Duplicate it and create a mask around the subject. Decrease the feather to zero. Drag the mask layer at the top, duplicate it and scale it up. Duplicate it two more times and scale it up again like this. Go at the start, move two or three frames to the right and trim the second layer, so the one below the top clip. Then again, move two to three frames to the right, trim it and repeat the same steps for the rest, so two more times. Now move around four frames to the right, trim the last mask layer and repeat it for the rest of the layers. Now we can trim the bottom layer right about here where this one ends and we can drag the final video right next to it. Now we can add paper overlay, I am using this one from Texture Bundle V3 and I brought it above frame holds, changed the blend mode to screen, changed the curves a bit and just added a little bit more contrast to it. Now you can nest all of the mask layers including the top one, add posterize time on nested sequence and change the time to something like 10 or 15. I left mine at 15 but try it out and see what looks the best for you. I want to create a little animation so I'll move 3 frames to the right cut it and repeat it until the end. Then I'll change the rotation and scale on each, so that way we are adding more of a movement to our clip. For the last effect that I'm going to do is change the color to black and white so it matches the previous effect. Duplicate a clip and add top paper rip texture. Again, I'm using the textures from the same bundle, V3, nest them together, go at the end of the previous nested sequence, move 3 frames to the left and drag it above. Duplicate the clip once again, add bottom paper rip and nest them. Double click on the first nested sequence, duplicate the texture and change the top texture to screen. Apply track matte key on the clip and change the video where is your bottom texture. Mine is on video 2 so I'm going to change it to video 2. Now do the same for the bottom paper rip. Once you're done, move two frames to the right and trim the top layer. This is optional just to give you an idea, but you can also cut the layers for one frame and scale it up, so that way we'll have more animation to the effect. Then nest them all together. And for the final clip, I added this scratches overlay from the same bundle that I've been using throughout the whole video. I scaled it up and changed the blend mode to screen, and then I changed the curves a bit just to give it more of a contrast. If you stay till the end and if you're interested in getting the texture bundle for yourself, I'm going to show you what's inside the pack real quick. So when you open the pack, you'll see the paper collage pack, the paper effects and transition pack, and the printer paper overlay pack. Let's go through paper collage first. You'll see 12 different folders and one PSD file. There are shapes like this, then rips and folds. And what I really like about this is that each texture has right side and left side separately. And that way we don't have to mask it out to split it. We can just add 
um, track my key like we did in this tutorial and it really just saves us some time. Now I'll show you paper effects and transition, maybe my favorite so far. What you'll see here is essential graphics like I showed you in this tutorial. It works with both Premiere and After Effects and there are also overlays and PNG folders and you can get real creative here and use this however you want. And inside the printer paper overlay pack you have overlays and PNGs as well. There are three folders, clean, crumble and scratch. In this tutorial I use crumble and scratch. So this is it. If you decide to get this for yourself, use code GAGA to get $5 off. I'll put the link in the description for you. If you found this video helpful or if it gave you any new ideas, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and that way more people can see it. And as always, make sure you're subscribed because I post this type of tutorials every week.